Hey guys, today we are looking at rotations. We're gonna answer the question, what is a rotation and how do we write the rule for a, that's supposed to say rotation, <laughs> on the coordinate plane. Okay, so a rotation is just a turn about a fixed point. This year we will always rotate about the origin. Rotations can be clockwise, turn to the right, or counterclockwise, turn to the left. Um, they will specify which ones. So let's look at each rotation. So this rotation shows 90 degrees clockwise. which is the same as 270 degrees counterclockwise. That'd be if you moved one, two, three quadrants the other way. One, two, three. So 90 degrees clockwise and 270 degrees counterclockwise end up in the same spot. So here was the original triangle ABC. We rotated it and it ended up here. So let's label our new points. Our new A, our original A was at two, two. The new A ended up at two, negative two. Okay, original B was at three, four. Our new B ended up at four, negative three. And then original C was at four, two. And our new C was at two, negative four. So let's see if we can observe any patterns. I went from two, two to two, negative two. I went from three, four to four, negative three. And then I went from four, two to two, negative four. So we definitely switched the order of the X and the Y values. Like here we went from three, four to four, three. And then our original X value changed signs. So, the X and Y swapped. And the original X changed signs. So this is how we would represent the rule from that. Instead of X, Y, our Y came first and then X, and then we changed that sign, which you can see here. Instead of three, four, it's four, three, and then that original X value changed signs. And that is for a 90 degrees clockwise or 270 counterclockwise. Okay, let's look at our next one, 180 degrees clockwise. That means I went two quadrants this way. And that is the same as 180 degrees counterclockwise if I turned two quadrants the other way. So 180 degrees clockwise and counterclockwise is gonna end up in the same position. So here's the original triangle DEF. Let's label the points for the new one. So the original D was at two, two. Our new D is at negative two, negative two. And then our original E was at three, four, and our new E is at negative three, negative four. Original F was at four, two, new F is at four, negative four, negative two. So this time it doesn't look like we swapped positions, but my signs were all positive, then they all became negative. So the order did not switch, but the signs of the X and the Y values became opposite. So the signs of the X and Y values switched. And the way we would represent that is opposite X, opposite Y. Whenever you are doing a 180 degree rotation, no matter what direction, you just change the signs of the X and the Y value. Okay, we have one more rotation to look at. 270 clockwise. That means that we moved one, two, 
three quadrants that way. It's the same position as a 90 degrees counterclockwise, which is just one quadrant the other way. So here's the original JKL. I already put the points here. Let's write down the new points and see if we notice any patterns. So the original J was at 2, 2. Our new J is at negative 2, 2. And then original K was 3, 4. Our new K is negative 4, 3. And then the original L was 4, 2. And our new L is negative 2, 4. So it's kind of similar with the first one where the X and the Y swapped positions. Like three was in the X value, now it's in the Y value. But this time, instead of changing the original X value sign, I changed the original Y value sign. So two things happened. The X and Y coordinates switched places. and the sign of the original Y value changed. So X and Y switched places and we changed the sign of the original Y value. So these rules are a little bit tricky to remember. Make sure that you write them down so that you can refer back to them. Okay, number one, it says rotate the figure 90 degrees clockwise. So the rule for 90 degrees clockwise is right here. It's Y negative X. So I'm just gonna take each point and I'm gonna switch it and change the original X value. So my original X was at negative four, one. The rule for 90 degrees clockwise is y negative x. So I'm gonna apply that rule. I'm gonna switch the signs. I'm gonna switch the order. And then I am going to make my original x value a positive since I have to change the sign. So my new x will be at one positive four right here. Okay, then my original y value was at negative three, four. So I'm gonna apply the same rule to it. I switch the order and my original x value was negative three. I change the sign of it and make it a positive three. So there's my new y value, it's at four, three. Okay, one more point to rotate Z, it is at negative two, two. So whenever I apply this rule to it, I'm going to switch the order and it'll become two, two because I also changed the sign of the original X value. So my new Z is at two, two. And there is that triangle rotated 90 degrees clockwise with the rule Y negative X. Okay, number two, it says figure D E F was transformed to create figure D prime E prime F prime. It says which rule describes this transformation? So what I like to do is look at corresponding points. I'm just going to choose E and E prime and see if I can see a pattern between them. So E was at negative four, negative two. And E prime was at four, two. So all that happened was my signs changed. I did not change the order. So I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate all of these that list Y first because I didn't switch the order. All I did was change the signs, which is this rule right here. Okay, and then number three, it says figure QRST was transformed to create Q prime, R prime, S prime, T prime, which rule describes this transformation. So same thing, I like to select corresponding points. I'm gonna use Q this time. 
and let's list them out and see if we notice a pattern. So Q was at negative 4, 1. And then it went to Q prime at or positive 1, 4. So the order switched. My 1 and 4 switched places, so I'm going to eliminate B. And then my original X value changed signs. They did not both change signs, so I'm going to eliminate that one. It was the original X value that changed signs, so that would be A.